So we're still on the trail. We're still not sure if we're in the right place. So onward. If you find this phone, <laughs> I was drug here. <laughs> We're not lost. <laughs> That's a perfectly good trail. <laughs> Better than most. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. So there's a lot of things that Colorado is known for. It's skiing, it's Rocky Mountains, it's beautiful weather, it's beautiful wildflowers, it's aspen trees, it's wonderful towns. But the one thing that it really is known for is it's mining towns that are no longer in existence, better known as ghost towns. There are hundreds of them that are all over the Rocky Mountains. And today, I've just uh, came to Caribou. And Caribou burned down in the late 1800s. So we're on Caribou Road and we're on our way back to the ghost town of Caribou City. So it's a beautiful country back here on our way to Caribou. So just stay on the road of Caribou that's um, just outside of town and go straight. Uh, be careful uh, with uh, your GPS coordinates. I will put uh, coordinates down in the description, but if it tries to get you to veer off of Caribou Road, then you're going the wrong way. So, you know, it's kind of hard to believe that there was this full-on town back here. You know, it had saloons and hotel and brothels. I mean, it was a full-on I think it even had a band, <laughs> like a town band. No. Is this band of thugs. A band of thugs. So it's definitely. So how a, did the pioneers find it? It's so far off the main road. <laughs> somebody found. I mean, you there's know, no train tracks, nothing. Somebody found, you know, precious metals. I bet his ass hurts after the end of the day. <laughs> so it's definitely a great place to, you know, ride your bike, but it's uphill the whole way. It's up down now. Step downhill. So you can get up here on a two-wheel drive, um, but it is very washboardy. Um, there's parts where it does get a little narrow, um, and the further up you get, the the more washboardy the road is. So as far as this road being, you know, kind of hanging on the side of the cliff, it really hasn't been that way. Uh, there's been one area where it was a little, you know, a little bit, but not very much. Um, so it's really not that. It always scares me when we go on high altitude like this on these dirt roads. Um, you know, that you're just going to be hanging off, off a cliff. Um, you always have to be careful with that here in the, the Rockies. It can get sketchy. It can get sketchy. And again, the roads can get really narrow. And then somebody's coming the other direction. You know, so. Um, oh, I spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> Look at it up ahead. So right behind me is where we think the ghost town of Caribou once was. Um, around the 1920s, 100 years ago, uh, basically it was down to 50 people. But at one time there were 3,000 people that lived here. Um, it was basically built for uh, the miners of the silver mine. Uh, gold was originally discovered downstream here and um, in one of the placers. And when they came up this way, they found the silver veins. And, um, and then the mine was eventually sold for about $3 million back in the eight, late 1800s, which was quite a bit of money. So right now, all that you really find here is kind of some, you know, foundation type structures um, and what's left of a log cabin and then the stone structures again weren't a part of the town 
but they did have to do with mining that happened here later on in the early 1900s. But this town once had a newspaper, it had three saloons, um, you know, it had a school, it was, uh, you know, 3,000 people um, up here at 10,000 feet. Um, now there's a great hiking, great mountain bike um, riding here. It's absolutely beautiful and the wildflowers are exquisite. So we're figuring that the town was down in this area and just by looking at there's some structures that are down there um, and looking at some old pictures it looks like it was down in this valley here. You park um, just so the parking lot is like right above me and just below the parking lot is uh, what's left. That's really the only thing that's left is this log cabin. But as you can see, the flowers are beautiful um, this time of year at this altitude. Um, but the town went all the way down into this area here. I'm trying to figure out why this is terraced. You know, there's these rocks here and they're very level. So either there were houses here that were terraced or this was some kind of water erosion um, structure that was built. But there is a depression here with a rusted um, pole coming out of it. I'm not gonna walk over there because it might be a mine shaft um, or it could have been somebody's root cellar. I think what we have here is an archeological find of some of the first row houses in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> if you don't know what a row house is, there's the, there are the houses that are stacked one after another in San Francisco going up the hill. Um, a construction term from the Bay Area of California. <laughs> It could be a log pole, it could just be somebody, somebody brought it, it was chopped. Yeah, somebody chopped that, that was definitely man manipulated. God, the wildflowers are just beautiful. Just gorgeous. We're about 10,000 feet. Now, you can, there's a road that goes this way, but it's a lot, it's a lot um, rockier. It's, you know, definitely a four by road, but it's blocked off right now. So I think it's actually private property. So if you come up here, make sure you bring lots of water. If you're really high in altitude. So if you're not used to altitude, you can get altitude sickness very easily up here. Um, so drink lots of water, drink, eat food that's, you know, high in, in water, such as, you know, vegetables and lettuce and stuff. And, um, you know, be careful with alcohol, but alcoholic beverages you'll get dehydrated very quickly. Um, so the air is very thin, um, so try to acclimate if you're not used to it before you come up here. There's this little trail that allows you to go down by the, um, uh, the, the cabin. Um, be careful of wildflowers, do not step on them please, um, and stay on the trail. I don't think it's an official trail either. Look at these wildflowers, they're just gorgeous. I mean, look at this. What's this, what's this? It's civilization, baby. <sighs> Might be the entrance to a dugout cellar or something of that nature. Well, here's some old timber. Looks like there was something. Look, here's a di dugout here. That was like a... So we just looked at... No, this, that's different. That's here's like... The warehouses. <laughs> that's like a root cellar. That was like a cellar. There's, there was somebody's house here. I mean, you can find yes, all. Colorado Martini Ghost. <laughs> a ghost town that refused to die. There's a bunch of old timber here. There's a whole bunch of wood. You can see it all over. Mm -hmm. It's all, all up in here. How pretty those flowers are, they're just gorgeous.
Um, and don't do this. <laughs> Gather up the wood, man. Not only is it illegal in this area, but this area is plagued with fire. Matter of fact, this town originally completely burnt down because of fire. Um, so do not have the illegal fires up here. Uh, these, Public service announcement. Yeah, it's my other PSA. Okay, here's one for you. They're probably the ancestors of dumbasses who burnt the town down. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you call a Colorado fixer upper, Mr. Martini said. <laughs> it's two million, but it's all about the location. <laughs> Look at that view. And no neighbors. <laughs> Except for the guy that's playing Pink Floyd. Oh, like there's a little chickmunk. cool that's all that's left of the town are those huckleberries those are huckleberries i wouldn't trust them i'm not going to eat them but those sure look like huckleberries to me they look like huckleberries to me yeah they look like poison raspberries no those look like huckleberries yeah, not low enough to the ground Anybody? No, they're not low to the ground anybody who's watching this if you agree that these are huckleberries uh tell me down in the comments up chuckleberries. Those are huckleberries are all in there. Oh, beautiful view. You see them? Right there. I told you that was moose poopy I saw. There's a baby. It's a mommy and a baby. Mom and a baby. Mom and a baby. That's so cool. So uh, just to my right is the old town site. I knew that was moose poopy I saw up there. <laughs> um, but it was pretty cool. So it was a mommy and a baby. You need to be very, very careful of any kind of moose, but a mom and a baby is probably the most dangerous moose that are out there. You think so, Bullwinkle? <laughs> Careful! Look at the potholes, Jesus Christ! <laughs> So you're going to go from the parking lot and you are going to go, I guess I'm traveling north, in the northeast. Um, you can drive down this road, but there's it's heavily trafficked with four-wheel drives uh, in the summertime. Um, and I'm not sure if there's really a place you can turn off. So we're looking for a trail that takes us up to the cemetery. So do note, there are a, there's a lot of private property up in this area, so try to stay on the road. Oh. So we still haven't found the cemetery and I have my doubts. I think it's the other way. I know it's up to my right, but look at this view. I forget what you call that glacier. But it's the only one that's in this area, these two glaciers. And it's just been melting and melting and melting. But um, as you can see, weather moves in very quickly. It's still August. Um, it was a nice warm day and now I can put on a pair of jeans and have some covering on my arms. So be prepared for all sorts of weather. Um, in the afternoons, this high up, we get lightning storms. Um, so we don't want to be exposed. So as you can see, that's the tree line. That's how high up we are. You don't want me to be exposed. Don't want to be exposed. Trust me. Trust me, baby. <laughs> so we fall, probably walked about a half a mile down and I know that the cemetery is up on this hill so I, I think that we were misled by coming down uh, what is it 505 550 um, I think that we need to take the other road all right so we think we found the path which is not very <laughs> apparent um, give it a shot let's give it a shot it's pretty overgrown too
So we're pretty high up and we're pretty far out. So I'm not able to drop a pin and get the coordinates. So the best thing I can tell you is you walk down about, I don't know, maybe we walked about a half a mile at the most. But when you start seeing the mountains, you come out of the, the tree line and you can start seeing the mountains like this. You can see this ridge with the glaciers on it. I mean, it's August, so that's a glacier. Um, because all the snow is melted. You're going to see a trail that's got some rocks in front of it. Um, and it says no motorized vehicles and it's kind of a rocky trail. Um, we believe that that's the trail. Um, and it's also right before kind of a turnout area that's got rock borders on it. So, um, so we're going to go up this and see what we find. Magical green leaf plant. I don't know. So it looks like there's huckleberries everywhere. That's what I think these are. Um, what's this poop right here? Is that elk? Or is that moose? I think that's moose. It's pretty big pellets. Um, Better speed up your gear we might find ourselves in rain. I don't know about this. <laughs> rolling in. It looks more like a wash than a trail. Yeah, but the... The sign made it sound like it was a trail, right? My sign said don't ride the damn motorcycle. Uh. So, we're still on the trail. We're still not sure if we're in the right place. So, onward. If you find this phone, <laughs> I was drug here. <laughs> We're not lost. <laughs> That's a perfectly good trail. <laughs> Better than most. <laughs> so, there's bear, there's moose. You usually find them. I've seen really big poopies, <laughs> like really big pellet type poopies. <clears throat> it's either elk or moose. Um, but there are bear up here. Be careful. Take lots of water. And we're about between 9,000 and 10,000 feet right now. <laughs> you don't want to see, know what I just saw. <laughs> Mr. Martini, <laughs> put your shirt back on, please. <laughs> He's getting back to nature. I see a bear, <laughs> a bear ass that is. <laughs> Look at that nice view behind me. Isn't that pretty? Oh, felt a raindrop. <laughs> felt another raindrop. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you ever hidden under the canopy of a tree during a rainstorm? <laughs> we might have to. A hunter's trick. <laughs> All right, we're still climbing. <laughs> hey, we got that storm behind us. It was like 80 a few minutes ago. I'm telling you, weather can change on you in a second. So, plenty of water, <laughs> bring rain gear, um, you know, it's actually gotten a little chilly. Mr. Martini says he thinks he sees headstones over here. We're at a clearing, as you can see. Tape. There's something up here. I don't know, I have to get up on it. See if that's a headstone. Yeah, this wave's imploded from the water. Oh. It says danger. That's a, with the tape. Yeah, there's a cross. Broken off headstone. There it is. Probably don't want you in there the graves are So the whole cemetery is blocked off. Um, there's tape on the other side too. So these, it looks like somebody planted some bulbs here at one time. Um, you know, and they just keep propagating all around the place. 
It's almost look like hostas. So I don't see any no uh, trespassing signs up here. I've been seeing them the whole way up on the road, but I don't see any. Um, I might be able to explain that. What? I think that if you come in the other road, uh -huh. you have to cross private property to get here. That might However, be. the way we came, mm -hmm. we walked up a state trail. So. Right. So that's why I was told to come up 550 rather than the other way. This is one of the coolest graveyards I've ever found. So this is a really cool graveyard. I mean, there's like nobody up here. Um, it's very secluded. Um, you know, it's it's actually really, really cool. But there are a lot of wild animals up here, so be careful. Elk. Do you think that's elk? It's Pretty huge. Pretty sure that's elk. No. Um, but this is really cool up here. And I think a lot of people come up to Caribou and they don't know this is here. Um, and... Um, and they miss it all together. And to be honest with you, this is cooler than the valley where the town used to be. Um, you definitely need to come up here. Again, I, I don't think it's private property. I think if you come the other way, you have to go through private property. Looks like bear. Sure, you can okay, that, bear. that looks like bear. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong or right, but that does we'll look, look like bear. Hand for scale. <laughs> So now we're both going, why did we bring our ba our our uh, bear spray? <laughs> look at the view. I'm standing in the cemetery and look at this view that they have. Um, so as you can see, we came up the trail up this hill and it's just, it's beautiful up here. So let's, let's take a look at this. Pretty high up. So there shouldn't be any, any rattlesnakes um, because we're so high up. So it gets really windy up here. Um, these people used to have to prop their houses up, like tie them down like a tent. Um, because you can get a hundred mile an hour winds up there. Say I can hear the wind right now. Um, so it gets extremely windy. And during a blizzard, which happens quite a bit up here, you know, so they would definitely have to tie down their houses. We came, we conquered. And we've seen what's left of Caribou. A town from the 1870s, burnt down, completely destroyed it. Yeah, I was hoping there was a saloon still. So, I highly recommend that you make the trek up to Caribou Ghost Town. Um, there's again there's not much left here except some like these stone foundations that are behind me and uh, the log cabin that's behind me 
um, but it is absolutely beautiful up here. The view is spectacular. Uh, the wildflowers in the summertime are wonderful. Because you're so high up, you want to wait till about July or August to see the wildflowers because um, it's probably still cold up here. We're very close to Eldora Ski Resort. Um, <clears throat> I believe it's, it's over this way. I thought I saw it. And then uh, Netherlands are right below us and Boulder, the town of Boulder. So definitely make the trek up here. We have some great suggestions on some books on this subject down in our description of this video, or you can go to our blog at coloradomartinis.com, and that's martinis with an S. Make sure to catch all our videos on the beautiful state of Colorado.